Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us, O Lord, the light of your truth. Dispel the darkness of sin and ignorance. Let us confess our sins against God and God's children. We are the people who helped make the wood on which you were crucified, and we still misuse of your creation. We are the people who helped make the nails that pierced your body, and still we hurt those around us. We are the people who did nothing to stop your betrayers, and still we are ruled by comfort or cowardice. Forgive us, Lord, forgive us. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Strengthen our bodies, minds, and spirits, and keep us close to the heart of God. The light of Christ has come into the world. The light of Christ has come into the world. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love which never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, most holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by heavy voices. O Son, O God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ, and to make everyone see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things so that through the church the wisdom of God in its rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The soles of his feet have reached the earth, the souls of the Son of Glory. The sun on the house steps shine for him. The voice of the winds with the sounds of the streets announce to us that God has opened a door, a door of hope, the door of joy. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you unto all the truth. For He will not speak on His own, but will speak whatever He hears. And He will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify Me, because He will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. 
For this reason I said he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will take you from among all nations and gather you from all lands to bring you home. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and purify you from false gods and uncleanliness. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit put within you. I will take the stone heart from your chest and give you a heart of flesh. I will help you walk in my laws and cherish my commandments and do them. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The Lord be with you and also with you. As beloved children of God, let us pray in the words of our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Pour out on us, O Lord, that same Spirit by which your deacon Ephraim rejoiced to proclaim in sacred song the mysteries of faith, and so gladden our hearts that we, like him, may be devoted to you alone, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, we place our families and our neighbors, our brothers and sisters in Christ, and all we have met today, and fold them in your will. Into your hands, O Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, we place all who are victims of prejudice, oppression, or neglect, the frail and the unwanted. Cherish them in your love. Into your hands, O Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, we place all who are restless, sick, or prey to the powers of evil. Keep them in your care. Into your hands, O Lord. Circle us, Lord. Keep darkness out. Keep light within. Keep darkness out. Keep light within. Keep fear out. Keep peace within. Keep fear out. Keep peace within. Keep hatred out. Keep love within. Keep hatred out. Keep love within. Lighten our darkness, O Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all dangers and perils of this night. For the love of your blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Trinity encircle us, that we awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. The stillness of God be ours this night, that we may sleep in peace. The awareness of the angels be ours this night, that we may be alert to unseen mysteries. The company of the saints be ours this night, that we dream of the river of love. The light of Christ be ours this night, that we may be truly alive to the morning, that we may be truly alive. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Amen.